the temperamental Spanish city of Seville, located in one of the most interesting ancient provinces, Andalusia, is today a center of tourism, every year thousands of visitors come to this land to see the multifaceted sights of Seville. Literally every corner of the city, rich in color and possessing a searing temperament, conceals an authentic beauty, in the labyrinth of streets you can meet shops with fans, motley robes and castanets, in the famous arena, to watch a spectacular bullfight, in cultural institutions, to admire the aesthetics of passionate flamenco dance. There is something to see in Seville and among architectural monuments, elegant palaces, monumental cathedrals, and ancient museums have largely shaped the architectural image of the city. What to see in Seville first? For those who have had the fortunate opportunity to visit Seville, it is sometimes not so easy to make a choice from the variety of attractions. Choosing what to see in Seville in one day, you should start from the heart of the city, its historical part. A review of the most interesting places listed in this article will help to form and organize the plan of the future trip to multicolored Seville. 1. Plaza de España Plaza de España, Seville's Attractions A view of the magnificent Plaza de España in Seville. Opening the ranking is the centerpiece of Seville, the stunningly beautiful Plaza de España. This is not only a popular vacation spot, but also a kind of symbol of the city. Initially, the square was designed to hold the World Ibero-American Exhibition, which was so significant for the country that a whole architectural complex was built for it, reflecting the socio-economic progress of Spain. Externally, the square has the shape of a semicircle, around which runs a canal with open-work bridges thrown over it. In the center of the square there is a huge fountain, divided by bridges into four sections by the number of ancient kingdoms of Spain. 2. Seville Alcazar Seville Alcazar, Sites of Seville The exquisite building of the Seville Alcazar is surrounded by beautiful green gardens Maxim B. Seville Alcazar, Sites of Seville Columns and arches with rounded corners in the Moorish style in the interior of the Alcazar Cat. A real gem among the city sites of Seville is the palace complex of Seville Alcazar. Once in the 10th century, in the era of Arab domination on the Iberian Peninsula, there was already a Roman fortress here. In the 12th century, the Almohad Palace was erected on the site of the fortress. A significant part of the buildings of the complex, which have survived to our time, was built during the reign of King Pedro I. The monarch, being a lover of the Moorish style, embodied its features in his buildings. Even today, the open-work Arabic architecture of the Seville Alcazar strikes the imagination with its elegance and lightness of form. 3. Santa Cruz Quarter Santa Cruz Quarter, Sites of Seville One of the streets of the historic Santa Cruz Quarter in Seville. Just outside the walls of the Alcazar of Seville is an amazing neighborhood that contains many of the city's priceless sites. This entire neighborhood was built by Jews fleeing religious persecution in Toledo. Stepping into these narrow, ornate streets is like stepping back in time, patios, historic squares, and ancient Gothic and Baroque temples impress with their beauty and authenticity. The very name of the quarter comes from the name of the square located here and decorated with a beautiful finely forged cross. For Triana Quarter Triana Quarter, Sites of Seville A view from the Guadalquivir River on the embankment of the Triana Jebulan Quarter. In contrast to the peaceful quiet of the Santa Cruz Quarter, the Triana Quarter is noisy and lively, and the buildings are somewhat chaotic. This neighborhood also has a rich history, and the noisy atmosphere is inherited from its original inhabitants, as the area used to be inhabited by temperamental flamenco dancers and gypsy communities. A trip to Triana should include a visit to its main attractions, such as the colorful food market, the ceramics center, the cathedral, the old bar, and Betis Street along the Guadalquivir River. 5. Seville Cathedral Seville Cathedral, Sites of Seville The southeastern facade of the Seville Cathedral or Maria de la Cid Cathedral Ingo Mehling. Seville Cathedral, Sites of Seville Christopher Columbus Tomb in Seville Cathedral Pepe Becerra The real pride of any tour in Seville is the cathedral, which amazes with its size and grandeur. 
It is impossible to miss this place in Seville, because in addition to its size, it is also remarkable for the fact that the cathedral houses the tomb of Christopher Columbus. The building of the cathedral was late in the 15th century, on the place where before that since the Reconquista there was an Arab mosque. The great shrine has absorbed a number of architectural styles, but the predominant style is Gothic. The interior decoration is amazingly splendid, with colored stained glass windows, a huge chapel with a flaming vault, and iconostasis sculptures based on gospel stories. 6. Giralda Tower Giralda Tower, Sites of Seville Moorish Quadrangular Giralda Tower in Seville Ingo Medling The openwork patterned Giralda Tower is about a hundred meters high and rises majestically above the other buildings in the historic center of Seville. Now the Arabian structure, which dates back to the 12th century, serves as the bell tower of the Seville Cathedral, but once, in the days of the Moors, it was a minaret that belonged to the Seville Mosque. The top of the tower, consisting of three tiers, is covered with an open-work stone pattern on the outside, the interior space is occupied by elevators, and in the very top there is a 24-bell carillon. All this grandiose construction is crowned by a rotating Geraldio Weathervane statue symbolizing the triumph of faith. 7. Basilica de la Macarena the main entrance in the form of a triumphal arch to the Basilica de la Macarena in Seville Frobles. Basilica de la Macarena, Sites of Seville. Ceiling with religious scenes of the Basilica de la Macarena Carolas. A particularly significant landmark for locals in Spain, the Basilica de la Macarena is known for the face of the Virgin of Macarena, long revered throughout the country. Every year at the beginning of Holy Week, the holy image is taken out of the church and members of the Brotherhood parade it through the city streets. The basilica itself is relatively young, its construction was completed in the middle of the last century. However, the main shrine of the temple, the statue of the Virgin Mary, is really ancient, and so much so that even the name of the master who created this image is unknown. The collection of religious items housed in the temple is also highly valued. 8. Church of Salvador The 17th century Church of the Savior is located in the square of the same name in the old center of Seville. A century later it was decided to renovate the church and it acquired a new architectural appearance in the Churigoresco style. This style originated in a talented family of architects with the surname Churigura in the 15th and 16th centuries. It was the tendencies introduced by the Churiguras in the design of buildings that brought some important details to the Baroque style. The temple attracts not only by the splendor of its facade, but also by its beautiful gilded altar, light-painted ceilings and walls conveying important religious themes. 9. Hospital de los Venables Bobo Boom, Church Hall of the Hospital de los Venables Bobo Boom, Church Hall When choosing what to visit in Seville, it's worth stopping by another building in her old city, a former hospital from the 17th century. In those days, a religious brotherhood founded a house for the elderly and sick ministers of the church. Later the house was converted into a hospital and a small but very beautiful church was added to it, the interior walls of which were painted by famous Spanish artists. Up to our days this complex has preserved its former splendor and the beauty of Baroque architecture. Since the 19th century, due to financial difficulties, the hospital fell into disrepair, and in 80 to 90 years of the last century the building was restored, since then the hospital houses the cultural foundation of Seville. 10. Torre del Oro The Moorish Tower of Torre del Oro on the banks of the Guadalquivir River. The Golden Tower is another famous symbol of Seville, thanks to its rich history, unusual architecture, and the fact that it is one of the few structures built during the reign of the Moors. The tower was originally a guard house, but after the Spanish conquest of the city, it was used for other purposes, such as a storehouse, a shipping office and even a prison. Today, all of the tower's rooms are occupied by the Maritime Museum. Travelers have no problem finding a place to go in Seville, the 37-meter-high tower rises above the low buildings of the city, and its spire already attracts attention from afar. 11. Seville Museum of Fine Arts 
Room V of the Museum of Fine Arts of Seville in the old Convento de la Merced Annual Church. The most important art gallery in Spain, the Museum of Fine Arts, located in the historical center of Seville in the Museum Square, has made its glorious contribution to world culture. Initially the museum was located on the same place in the building of an ancient monastery, but the fire of 1810 destroyed almost all the buildings, and 15 years later everything was rebuilt almost from scratch in the style of classicism. Initially, the museum's funds were replenished with exhibits from nearby churches and monasteries, so the core of the exposition consists of religious items. Today, along with them, the collection includes masterpieces of painting from the 15th to the 20th century, created by famous Spanish artists. 12 Archaeological Museum A small artificial lake in front of the Archaeological Museum in Maria Luisa Park. Nowadays, this institution is considered one of the most important archaeological museums in the world. The Archaeological Museum in Seville was opened in the middle of the 19th century, and the reason for its opening was simple, it needed somewhere to store the valuables and relics left by the abolition of some of Seville's monasteries. As the collection grew over time, the space needed to be expanded, and in the 1920s a new building was erected, the Renaissance Pavilion in the Maria Luisa Park. The oldest exhibits on display date back to the Paleolithic period, cultural objects, everyday life, and various evidences of habitation on the Spanish peninsula by Greeks, Carthaginians, Visigoths, Arabs and other ancient peoples. 13 San Telmo Palace The facade of the San Telmo Palace with the main portal made of white stone. San Telmo Palace is a splendid example of Baroque architecture. Once built by a talented local architect at the end of the 17th century, the palace housed a seminary for sailors. The palace was named after Saint Telmo, the patron saint of all sailors. Later, the seminary was closed, and the palace was repeatedly passed from one owner to another until it became the official residence of the president of the Andalusian Autonomous Community. Reviews indicate that the most eye-catching part of the palace is the most opulent part of the palace, its main portal, lavishly decorated in the Churigoresco style. The facade is adorned with figures of 12 famous figures in the history of Seville. 14 Pilots House The inner courtyard of Pilots House surrounded by a gallery. One of Seville's favorite palaces is the House of Pilot, which is the best example of Spanish architecture, combining Arab Mudejar and Spanish Renaissance. The history of the palace dates back to the end of the 15th century, when the royal administrator had the idea of building his own palace. Later, the governor's son, impressed by a pilgrimage to Jerusalem and a cultural trip to Italy, began to work on giving the palace a unique thematic look. Antique statues, graceful two-tiered arcades topped with Mudejar-style decorations, a beautiful fountain and other elements of decoration combine to create a unique and attractive appearance of the palace. 15 City Hall Any guide in Seville will confirm that the City Hall is one of the most beautiful buildings in the city, and once you see it, everyone will realize it. The relief facade of the building in plate resco style is abundantly decorated with stucco, the motifs of which convey different mythological subjects, you can look at them for a long time and with rapture. These bas reliefs are so finely carved that you have to look at each detail almost up close. The town hall was built back in the 16th century in honor of the wedding of the Castilian king, and since then, all these years, it has always been the seat of the city administration. 16 Archive of the Indies Another interesting institution in Seville is the repository of Spain's most valuable documents. This is the Archive of the Indies, originally erected in the 16th century to house a trading exchange. Until then, trading activities were carried out in the courtyard of the cathedral, but with the introduction of a ban on trading in holy places, it became necessary to erect a building designed for this purpose. This is how the building of the archives of the Indies came into being, however, two centuries later the Academy of Arts meetings were held here instead of trading, and a few more years later it was decided to build an archive here. Today the building, built in the Spanish Renaissance style, stores the most important historical documents of the country. 
17 Royal Tobacco Factory. The Royal Tobacco Factory is one of the best sites in Seville for a reason, thousands of Seville women once made cigars for Europe and the world, and the factory square was the setting for the opera Carmen. The construction of the factory building was carried out by a military architect from Holland, so the facade of the building looks very restrained, and the moat dug around the perimeter of the building gives the structure a resemblance to a military fortress. And the factory itself was once under armed guard. Today, the spacious buildings of the ancient building houses the University of Seville. 18 Maestranza Bullfighting Arena Seville's Maestranza Bullfighting Arena on Chris 2 for Columbus Boulevard Vincenzo Venditti. Maestranza Bullfighting Arena, Sites of Seville. The Maestranza Bullfighting Arena is one of the most spectacular venues in Spain. The Maestranza Bullring is considered to be the most popular of the Spanish bullfighting arenas. From spring to fall, it hosts an impressive spectacle of extreme bullfighting. It was in this arena that the first matador once fought an unarmed bull, and it was from Maestranza that all the arenas, which used to be rectangular in shape, became round. The monumental ring of the Seville arena is impressive in its appearance and size alone, it seats about 14,000 spectators. Not surprisingly, the construction of the Maestranza took more than a hundred years to complete by the end of the 19th century. Next to the arena is a chapel for the bullfighters to pray before the battle, and an infirmary for those injured during the battle. 19 Metropolis Parasol Wooden structure by architect Jürgen Meyer and on the Plaza de la Encarnacion Rainer Kruckenberg. Uninformed tourists who see the Metropole Parasol for the first time immediately wonder what this futuristic structure is. It was once the site of a city market, which was later demolished, and in the process the ruins of Roman buildings were discovered. As a result of the competition for the creation of a new architectural project won the work of a German architect, and it was realized. The metropolis is divided into several levels, the lowest level is a museum with Roman ruins, the next level is a marketplace, the roof of the marketplace is an event space, and the top level is a viewing terrace. The Metropole's location near a number of hotels in Seville makes this all-in-one attraction particularly popular with visitors. 20 Alamillo Bridge The Alamillo Suspension Bridge over the Guadalquivir River at night. As a result of Spain's extensive preparations for the 1992 International Expo, the country has a spectacular new attraction, the Alamillo Cable State Bridge connecting Seville to the island of Cartuja. It is a skillful constructivist masterpiece that has become an inspirational model for many suspension bridges later built in various places around the world. Its main architectural peculiarity is that the 200-meter-long bridge deck is supported by only one powerful pylon, which is connected to the deck by a network of cables. Thus, the bridge with a snow-white pylon, as if soaring upwards, became a symbol of Seville's aspiration for development and progress. Authentic Little Seville has a small area, and once in its historic center, you can explore the main attractions of Seville briefly, without spending too much time on travel, almost everything is within walking distance. And with the time you save, there's more to discover. Other sites of Seville, photos with names and descriptions of which are below, will help you step by step to reveal new secrets of this Spanish city. 21 Magic Island Theme Park on the island of Cartuja, on a spacious territory of 36 hectares, the largest urban theme park in Europe is located. Magnificent water rides, fountains, ponds, and many other water-related attractions delight not only young visitors but also adults. Numerous theatrical performances, plays and stereo cinema sessions, which are held here, follow a single mission, to recreate for visitors the atmosphere of the Middle Ages, when many sought adventure and great discoveries. There are a total of eight themed zones in the park, as well as cafes, restaurants, and souvenir shops. 22 Murillo Gardens A monument to Christopher Columbus in the picturesque Murillo Gardens in Seville. A true masterpiece of garden art, the Murillo Gardens were created by a group of Seville landscape designers at the beginning of the last century. Once this territory belonged to the famous Seville Palace Alcazar. Today, 
on an area of about 9,000 square meters in the heart of the city are spread picturesque flowering gardens, in the shade of which numerous paths meander and sprinkle the invigorating coolness of magnificent fountains. The abundance of trees, lush bushes, and colorful flower beds creates an atmosphere of peace and comfort, so you can stroll along the alleys of the garden endlessly. A famous attraction of the garden is the monument to the famous discoverer Columbus. 23 Maria Luisa Park The following recommendations refer to another green corner of Seville, Maria Luisa Park, which is considered to be the main park of the city. Very cozy and beautiful park, stretching along the Guadalquivir River, with dozens of picturesque alleys, plenty of greenery and water, gives citizens and visitors a refreshing coolness on the hottest days. The park area is also decorated with numerous sculptures, fountains, monuments, and for rest there are carved pavilions and ceramic benches. A favorite place for visitors to the park is Monte Guru Mountain, on which an artificial waterfall has been created. 24 Seville Fair At the height of spring, the atmosphere in Seville is buzzing with joy in anticipation of the city's traditional festival, the Seville Fair. The origins of this annual festival date back to the mid-19th century, when resourceful locals decided to add a touch of Spanish fun to the trading process. Since then, the Seville Fair has become an annual event, it starts on Monday night of Easter week and continues until Sunday. The fun begins with a parade of carriages and bullfights, with residents dressing up in national costumes. During the week, the participants of the celebration are waiting for all kinds of entertainment, from fiery dancing to carriage rides, and all ends with a festive fireworks display. 25 Flamenco Dance Rounding off the review is the passionate, colorful, and dramatic Spanish dance, Flamenco. Today it is no longer possible to trace the origins of Flamenco, it is believed that the traditions of this dance, having appeared in ancient Andalusia, were formed gradually, and the participation of different nationalities and the influence of eras gave the art of multifaceted. Today the tradition of flamenco has become an integral part of the Spanish soul, and the dance itself is expressed through three components at once, through music, singing and dance. The heart of flamenco is considered to be the song, which follows certain rules of verse composition. Despite its long history, flamenco was elevated to the status of art only in the 20s of the last century. It is in autonomous Andalusia that you can see the true Spain in all its glory, Seville is the capital and real pride of Andalusia. The city of Carmen and passionate flamenco will be remembered for its low old buildings in the Mudejar and Baroque styles with several outstanding monuments and towers, romantic parks drowning in greenery and flowers, the tart aroma of citrus fruits and excellent Andalusian wine.